So I made this video once, didn't like it, deleted it, and now I'm gonna be making this again. Um, so I made a video a couple years ago about my nose piercing, why I took it out. I took it out because I developed a keloid. It wasn't really a keloid, it was called hypertrophic scarring. And I had to go to a dermatologist and they put like a, I think it was like a steroid shot which minimized the bump so the first day the bump was still there by the second day the bump had deflated now prior to that i tried all kinds of methods to get rid of the bump and absolutely nothing worked so that's why i did go to the dermatologist like i tried aspirin paste salt water um salt water soaks mm -hmm. salt paste or whatever I tried everything and tea tree oil so like nothing really worked at all one time the salt water trick worked but then it came back so it was like a reoccurring bump so I did finally get it repaired a couple months ago and I've had actually no problems no problems at all knock on wood but I haven't had a single problem um yeah I don't know why but I think my best guess is when I had my nose piercing the first time, I had switched it out, and I switched it out to some cheap metal. So, um, I think what it was, I don't really remember it, to be honest, but I think they were from Claire's. So, I think it was just so cheap that it kind of, like, just effed with my whole, like, sh like, nose. I don't know. But, um, I think the metal, like, I was allergic to or something, and it created these bumps that would come and go. And eventually, like, no matter what I did, it just, it just would not go away. But, yeah, so what I did was I got it re-pierced. I waited till the scarring kind of went down, so it's, like, still noticeable, but it wasn't, like, as bad as it was. And I got it pierced right in front of the scar. So you can't really see the scar, actually. But it is pierced right in front of it. I didn't want to re-pierce the scar because I heard it hurts. But, um, yeah, so I decided to do it in front. And then I didn't want to do it on this side because I'm like, I don't really want two scars when I have to take this out or if I do ever take it out. I feel like I might have to take it out, like, for a job or something. But I'm going to try to keep it in as long as I can because this is the most... <laughs> Time, successful time I don't know but I'm kind of happy with it I don't think I'm going to change my jewelry this time I'm gonna just kind of stick it out because I'm not sure could be a coincidence but as soon as I took out my other piercing with uh, the original piercing that's when things went downhill really quick but anyway yeah so I did end up getting it repierced I've had no problems um, I'm happy with the results. Thank you guys for watching. So I kind of just wanted to give a little update on my piercing. I had a lot of people ask questions on my old video about, um, if I'd ever get it re-pierced again. And honestly, I was like, no, I'm, I'm not dealing with that again. It was, it was a nightmare. Like I was, it was just bad. So I was like, no, I probably won't, probably won't. I said that weird. Um, but here I, here I am with it again. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Good luck and